Hello everyone. Welcome to the video lecture series of analog and digital communication. Today we will discuss about multi-tone DSB SC. So in the last lecture we have already discussed about single tone DSB SC, double sideband suppressed carrier and we have the concept about multi-tone amplitude modulated signal also. So what are the what is the concept? The concept is we use a message signal with multiple frequencies as you can say the more than one frequency okay so we can just apply that concept in multi-tone dsb sc so we will start here so as we know in multi-tone amplitude modulated signal message signal will have more than one frequency so we will assume mt is equal to am1 cos 2 pi fm1 t plus am2 cos 2 pi fm2 t here what we are seeing that fm2 and fm1 these two are frequencies of our message signal okay and we will assume that fm2 is larger than fm1 or greater than fm1 okay and uh, as we know ct which is our carrier frequency carrier signal ac cos 2 pi fct okay and uh, obviously fc is far larger than fm2 and fm1 because fm1 and fm2 are uh, are the order of kilohertz and fc is the order of megahertz and you can say gigahertz okay so we know that general expression of dsbsc uh, till now you should uh, learn about it you should be uh, able to uh, tell about the dsbsc general expression so it is ctmt or you can say am uh, am uh, sorry ac mt cos 2 pi fct ctmt okay generally ctmt we will remember now we will substitute the value of mt into the general expression of dsbsc so uh, we will substitute as per steps so ac in bracket am1 cos 2 pi fm1 t plus am2 cos 2 pi fm2 t and then multiplied by cos 2 pi fct and we will expand this again what we are seeing that there is a formation of cos a cos b so we will multiply 2 by 2 so here we multiply 2 by 2 and then we applied 2 cos a cos b formula and again we will get the result ac am1 upon 2 cos 2 pi fc plus fm1 t i think i have missed the t thing here and cos 2 pi fc minus fm1 t ac am2 upon 2 cos 2 pi fc plus fm2 either here uh, t small t will be there i have just uh, missed it and cos 2 pi fc minus fm2 t okay so as you know fc plus fm1 is a usb1 now it is usb1 fc minus fm1 will be a us lsb1 fc plus fm2 will be usb2 and fc minus fm2 will be lsb2 okay because this is multi-tone so here lsb more lsb and more usb will be there okay now spectrum the most interesting term is spectrum how we draw it so till now you are very familiar to draw the spectrum of if if you have the expression of any signal so in time domain uh, if if that signal contains only sinusoidal then you can generally uh, draw the spectrum of that signal so what uh, what should be the spectrum you you know here uh, just main concept is in dsb sc fc means frequency carry uh, frequency uh, component will not be present here okay so fc plus fm2 fc plus fm1 fc fc minus fm1 and fc minus fm2 uh, okay so here amplitude is ac am2 upon 4 ac am1 upon 4 and i have see i have shown you uh, that am uh, fm2 and fm1 relation that means fm2 is greater than fm1 and uh, another assumption is there am2 is greater than am1 that's why i have uh, reduces the height of these two impulses because am1 is less than am2 okay so what would be the bandwidth so directly you can say the uh, as you know about uh, multi-tone am twice of maximum frequency present in the message signal twice of maximum frequency so what is the maximum frequency here fm2 okay 
so fm2 is a maximum frequency in here also so the sbsc bandwidth will be 2 fm2 and if you want to calculate from the spectrum so highest positive frequency minus lowest positive frequency so this is usb1 usb2 lsb1 lsb2 and bandwidth we will calculate 2 fm2 which is nothing but the highest frequency of massive signal okay so uh, some students have confusion uh, how we can uh, specify that fc plus fm2 will be here and fc minus fm2 will be here and fc plus fm1 will be here fc will be here so for uh, to understand this i have assumed some uh, numeric value and you can see the sp specified values of fc plus fm1 and now you can understand how we can uh, plot this diagram we plot this point uh, uh, you can say frequency in the frequency axis okay i think uh, you can easily understand from this uh, numeric values huh. we can say that fc is not the order of kilohertz but just for assumptions that fc is larger than F fm1 and fm2 so we can how we can draw how we can specify the place of this all the frequency terms we will understand from this numerical value okay so now power of multitone dsb sc so as i have already told you that if you have expression in time domain that it is very easy to calculate the power of that signal and obviously if it is sinusoidal then i have already told you uh, the power is nothing but the amplitude square of half of the amplitude of square so we have dsbsc multi-tone dsbsc expression here ac am1 upon 2 and all so we have lsb1 usb1 lsb2 and usb2 we have these only four terms okay so we want to calculate this four power and then we, we will have the total power of multi-tone dsbsc so pt is equal to psb total sideband power and what is the total sideband power is nothing but the sum of the total usb power and total lsb power and what is the total lsb and usb usb 1 plus usb 2 lsb 1 plus lsb 2 so the per the main purpose of uh, R is to calculate PS P USB one PLSB one P USB two PLSB two and for this we should have amplitude of these terms. So what we have amplitude USB one has the amplitude of AC AM one upon two and if we calculate the power of USB one so just square of amplitude and half half okay so AC square AM square upon eight R usb1 and similarly lsb1 is also equal to ac square am square upon 8r and similarly usb2 is ac square am2 square upon 8r and lsb2 is ac square am2 AM square upon 8r we have already uh, written here so pt is equal to ac square am1 square upon 8r and these two terms uh, will be added here so 4r and these two terms will be added here so 4r and we will Take the common AC square upon 4 are from the above equation and we will get AM1 square plus AM2 square. So this is the total power of multi-tone. Okay, what, what was the total power of multi-tone AM? So multi-tone AM power is dependent upon, dependent upon mu, mu t, total modulation index. You should remember it. AC square upon, yeah, you can say PT is equal to PC, 1 plus mu t square upon 2 where mu t is total modulation index under root mu 1 square plus mu 2 square but here there is no dependency on modulation index so it, it is am1 square plus am2 square so you should remember this modulation efficiency so easily without any calculation we should remember this because there is no presence of carrier signal here so the modulation efficiency of multi-tone dsbsc signal will be 100 percent okay now a numerical on this topic which is known as multi-tone dsbsc is given here so a carrier signal is given as 20 cos 2 pi into 10 to the power 60 is dsbsc modulated every time when the carrier is modulated the specific it will be specified it is whether it is am modulated or dsbsc modulated or ssbsc modulated and whatever the modulation technique will be there it, it will be specified so carrier is modulated by dsbsc modulation and 
message signal is given by cos 2 pi into 10 to the power 40 plus 2 cos 4 pi into 10 to the power 40 plus 4 cos 6 pi into 10 to the power 40. So obviously we can see that our message has three frequencies. So the DSB SC modulation technique is nothing but the multi-tone DSB SC. And what are the questions are here? Find bandwidth, total power and efficiency. As you see the DSB SC, either it is a single tone or multi-tone efficiency will be 100%. So one question is, one term is already solved. Efficiency is 100%. Bandwidth will be twice of the maximum frequency presence in the message signal okay and power ac square upon 2 r bracket am is am1 is square plus am2 is square and here three frequencies are there so am3 is square and the second what is the second question which of the following frequency components will not be contained by the resulting dsb sc signal so you have to carefully read the question number two it is asking which of the following frequency components will not be contained by the resulting DSB signal. So just you have to find, you have to calculate all the frequency components like you have FC, you have FM1, FM2 and FM3. So you have to calculate FC plus FM1, FC plus FM2, FC plus FM3, FC minus FM1, FC minus FM2, FC minus FM3. And all these seven uh, values you have to choose that value which is not contained by these seven values okay so pause the video and try it yourself first and match the answer answer is bandwidth is 60 kilohertz total power is 2100 watt eta is 100 percent and the answer of second question is 1000 kilohertz okay so uh, kindly try it first yourself and then match the answer and if you are not able to, so uh, if you are not able to, let's see the solution. So what are the given data we have in our question? It is MT and CT. And from the above equations, what can we have? The terms like FM1 is 10 kilohertz. From this term, first term, from the mass signal, FM2 is 20 kilohertz and FM3 is 30 kilohertz. What is the carrier frequency FC? It is 1000 kilohertz or you can say 1 megahertz. So all the terms are in kilohertz. So we will see, we will write it in 1000 kilohertz. What is the AM1? AM1 is 1 volt. AM2 is 2 volt. AM3 is 4 volt. And AC 20 volt. All the parameter we will calculate from these data. And these are the sufficient data. Okay, all the data you have collected here, just you have to apply the concept. You know the bandwidth of DSBSC signal, it is nothing but the twice of maximum frequency of message signal. So what is the maximum frequency is 30 kilohertz. So it will be twice of maximum frequency is 60 kilohertz. And power, you know the formula for power AC square 1, 2 R. There is no, 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 uh, there is no mention of R antenna resistance so we will assume as a 1 ohm by default and we will calculate then power will be 2100 watt and the second question is asking uh, modulation efficiency 100% there is no uh, any uh, question about this second question I have told you to calculate all the seven terms so FC plus FM1 all the we have and the and options we will see the option which is not in these six so 990 kilohertz we have fc minus fm1 1000 kilohertz we don't have because 1000 kilohertz is nothing but the carrier frequency and you know in dsb sc signal carrier is not present carrier is not present so option will be b and you can also check all uh, these two option also 1020 is there or not so you can say 1020 is fc plus fm2 and uh, last uh, 1630 so is there any 1630 i think 1630 is not an uh, option it is 1030 i have a mistaken a misprint here 1030 so it is also 1030 will be there option so answer will be 1000 kilohertz option d will be 1030 okay uh, don't confuse about it 
one zero three zero option will be that that's why the uh, answer will be option B otherwise there will be conflict option B and option D also will be uh, correct if you are assuming a one six three zero so it is one zero three zero I have I, I know that one zero three zero will be there so we have uh, uh, studied we have discussed about multi-tone DSBSC and we all already know the concept of multi-tone AM so we we can easily apply that concept uh, just we know uh, if we know the general formula of DSBSC so we will end our lecture here so thank you so much please like share and subscribe and uh, milte hain agle video mein okay